Hey ladies, Heather Mara, PT, with one simple step today. Let's talk about pelvic girdle pain. Where is pelvic girdle pain? What is this thing? And what should I be concerned about? Or reporting to my doctor? Or talking to my pelvic floor physical therapist? Let's go over the anatomy. This is the pelvic girdle. You can feel your hips right near here. You can feel your pubic bone in front. You can feel your tailbone, which is like your tail, at the bottom of your back down here or your coccyx. This area is included with the pelvic girdle. When we talk about pelvic girdle, it can include abdominal plane, it can include the butt, even the upper thigh, then it can include the front as well as the low back. It can also include the pelvic floor. This is the pelvic floor. This includes the urethra, the vaginal opening, and the anus and all the muscles inside as well as inside the pelvic cavity. So pelvic girdle pain could include pregnancy pain, non-pregnancy pain, um, pain that's happening from an injury, a fall, from childbirth. Anytime we're having discomfort in this area, you should be one, talking to your doctor about it, and two, thinking, hmm, where's my pelvic floor physical therapist that can help me with this? We are trained to work with this whole area. So that could include pubic symphysis pain, SI pain, coccyx pain or tailbone pain, urinary incontinence or leakage, pain with sex, constipation, tenderness, or any pain that could be happening here, as well as internally. Scar tissue, adhesions, decreased mobility and sensitivity from a C-section, as well as from vaginal delivery if there's been an episiotomy or a tear as well. Consider also pelvic girdle pain can include pelvic pain, which includes pain with sex. Again, these are a lot of things that we just don't talk about, but they affect a lot of us women and men and adults and kids so don't overlook this area because it's too embarrassing or my doctor dismissed it again take care of yourself and understand what is included with pelvic girdle pain and know that pelvic floor physical therapy is available because we're trained as pelvic floor physical therapists to assess this area we can work internally vaginally as well as rectally working on these tissues sometimes you can't get in there sometimes there's some nerve pain, some nerve limitations or restrictions because of some muscle tissue or tightness or some imbalances. So again, I love pelvic floor physical therapy. It has changed my life and so many other people's lives. When you can't sit because you have tailbone pain, when you have pain and discomfort, or you don't want to leave the house because you're leaking urine, all these things are not normal. So when you have leakage, pain or pressure like pelvic organ prolapse, again, don't ignore these symptoms. Go and see your pelvic floor physical therapist. Talk to your doctor for your pelvic curdle pain. Make sure that you leave a comment below and thanks for listening and make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes.